Welcome to the Life on Tap podcast, where we help you rediscover your potential so that you feel confident, clear, and independent. Have you inadvertently put yourself last all these years by putting others first, only to wake up in your midlife and find yourself lost in the shuffle? Girl, I have so been there. Let me share with you the lessons I've learned to create a new direction to rediscover yourself. Together, let's go on a journey of mastering your potential, tapping into the power that already exists inside of you. We'll talk confidence, self-care, organization, health and well-being, money mindsets, financial hacks, and how to kick your limiting beliefs to the curb for good. We will find and establish your vision, get crystal clear on it. This is your blueprint your life untapped. I'm your host, Francine Rivera, lifestyle consultant and certified health coach. I'm also the founder of the Life Untapped coaching system, where you can earn as you learn with our affiliate program. Check it out at thelifeuntapped.com and grab our free mini course, The Guilt-Free Balanced Life, while you are there. Are you ready for your blueprint? Let's dig in. Have you ever watched a movie and about 30 minutes or so in, you really don't like it, but you feel obligated to finish? Or you started reading a book and a few chapters in, you hate it, but you just feel compelled to finish what you started? This actually has a name to it. It's called the sunk cost fallacy. It describes our tendency to follow through on an endeavor if we've already invested time, effort, or money into it, whether or not the current costs outweigh the benefits. Now, I never heard this term before, but I recently heard it on another podcast and it really hit home to me because I realized I do this. Maybe because we don't want to feel wasteful or be a quitter, so we pursue something we no longer like, like a bad meal even. You finish it since you just don't want to waste the food or you're at a buffet and you're not hungry anymore, but you go out for one more trip to fill your plate because it's already paid for. Or if you have a business and you have an employee you've hired and you've spent so much time training them and you're just getting the feeling they're just not the best person for the job no matter what you do, but you don't want to let them go because you've invested so much time. Or some other relationship that you may be in that you've invested so much time in and you feel bad cutting ties with that person. Or something even bigger, like you're in college and maybe it's your sophomore year or more and you feel that the career path or the chosen curriculum that you're studying is no longer what lights you up, but you've put in all that time and money, so what to do? There's also a term called gambler's fallacy, and to explain it in simple terms, imagine if you're playing a board game with your family, and it involves dice, and you realize after playing for 10 minutes that nobody's thrown a two. So you think, wow, like a two's got to come up really soon. Because every turn, nobody's throwing up a two and everybody's getting really excited going, all right, it's going to show up now. It's going to show up now. You know, it's been 15 minutes. It's been 20 minutes. The reality is every throw of the dice resets your odds. So every roll has the same percentage and likelihood. Hence the fallacy that you're getting close to getting that number. So going back to what we were talking about earlier, you know, the book, the meal, the movie, the relationship, I think it's important to recognize that you are always free to move forward. To not let whatever you have done in the past, before this decision, influence the future of a decision. So always be forward thinking and say, based on what I know now, how should I go forward? Thinking about the time and money spent in the past will handcuff you to a particular outcome. You need to be willing to liberate yourself if you want to go forward on the path that is meant for you. Now, this is different than just quitting because it's hard or it's not as easy as you thought. This isn't about throwing in the towel as soon as there's a struggle. Definitely not. (laughs) It's about knowing what you really want and knowing whether it's either serving you or no longer serving you. I'm going to give you a personal example. After I closed my fitness studio, I went into the online space via network marketing or multi-level marketing MLMs. I loved everything about it products, the people, the leadership, the camaraderie, and the push for personal development. It just made me a better person. I've done really, really well at times with big bonuses and paychecks, and I've earned free trips for two, both domestically and internationally. I've also seen my huge team do great things, and then I've seen my huge team disappear and my income drop a lot. 
Now, I'm not a quitter at all, so I stuck it all out. I never wanted to look back and think I left a stone unturned. But about a year ago, I started to realize that I really didn't like what I was doing anymore. I still love the people, the products, the mission, etc., but I didn't want to emulate or be like the top earners in my company. I didn't, I just didn't want to live that kind of life. To me, it looked too time consuming, too much turnaround on teams. Again, for me, people I grew to love and see so much potential in, and it pained me to see them quit so soon and leave. And then I also discovered on my evolving business and, and personal development that I didn't want to rely on others staying around or the constant recruiting to replace them. I envisioned an income that was more passive and more rewarding for my vision, one that really freed me up time-wise for my family. But I felt I had so much invested into this industry. I mean, if I'm thinking, I quick math, at least a decade. And while I still, oh my gosh, maybe even more. <laughs> but when, while I still believe in it, I just didn't see my future there. And then I realized, like it hit me, I was only staying in it because of my ego. I was thinking, well, if others can do it, so can I. And yeah, that's a great attitude to have. But it staying there, pursuing that path was no longer serving me. So again, these are personal decisions. And once I really figured this out, it was freeing. It gave me the opportunity to really focus on this podcast and my coaching business. Working one-on-one -on -one with other women is where my heart is now. Now, I'm sure I'll probably still be connected to a network marketing company since, as I mentioned before, the products are life-changing and I've seen so many health testimonies. And because I want and need to fully support my client, one of those pillars in supporting her is that I do that in health. See, you need the energy and vibrancy to live a life untapped. And I need something to recommend to you to get there. And since I do my research and use supplements myself, it would only make sense to be still connected to my company. So my friend, stop continuing with something if it no longer serves you. Stop that movie halfway in, put down the book, push away the plate of food, don't go back up to the buffet, <laughs> or maybe it's something bigger like a career pivot. You are worth it. Thanks so much for listening. But before you go, if you found value in today's show, I would love it if you would take a screenshot of this episode and share it with others on social media. And be sure to hit that subscribe button and head on over to iTunes or wherever you listen to rate and leave a review. It is how we can empower, educate, and shift how others visualize their lives. Until next time, my friend, remember to live a life untapped. You are worth it.